Hello and welcome to another video of mine. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a short review of this flash drive here. It's actually a it's actually a flash drive that I actually actually I remember buying back in in the summer of 2003. It's called a PNY Attachy USB 2.0. It's uh, 128 megabytes of storage, not gigabytes, megabytes. So that's like one eighth of a gigabyte. As you can see there, it's about the size of a fish and lure. And it's amazing, it actually still works. We're going to test it out right here. Of course that comes off like that. That'd be the USB plug. 128. So I'll go ahead and plug it up to this uh, main gaming rig that I have here. As you can see I got all my hardware and whatnot there. Yeah, that's my beast of a rig. That's the graphics card. Ten eighty. Anyway, I'll go ahead and plug this up right here. As you can see, the orange light that'd be a USB two point or higher. Now you could plug it into a original USB 1.1 and then show a green light there. But yep, here it is. It opens just fine. Attachy 2.0. As you can see here, I actually got some very old files. Like a lot of the files here, it shows been on here since 2004 high school pictures yep here's a picture of me there from high school as you can see here this picture if I go down to details, it actually shows some details about the camera that I had at the time, Kodak DC3200 digital camera. No, that's not the actual date there. However, Another one that has me right there. Another picture of me there. See, that? this one does show the actual date that I was taken on. I go to details. It actually shows the 31st of August 2001. That's when that picture was actually taken. August 31st, 2001. So that was about... That was almost two weeks before 9-11 happened. Back, back in 2001. Here it is. 
of old files here. This was taken right before 9-11. Yep. So that'd be me from two thousand and one. Yep. Yeah, some old memories there. Incredibly, this drive still works fine. Still hit. Even got some Yeah, some old soundtracks and whatnot. So you can see here where where I have some really that I put on here back in two thousand three. I don't believe that those dates that say 1999, they're not really correct because I think what might happen is that digital camera might have had a low battery and it kind of threw the date off. But however, these dates I'm, I'm sure are correct. So, yep. Yeah. Of course, at the time, with that custom built rig, I had a ATI graphics card. Apparently, that's what this is. A driver for that ATI catalyst from June from June eight two thousand four. Basically, for Windows XP and Windows two thousand. So no, I'm not going to install it. And of course, Netscape, maybe. Some people may know Netscape. Of course, I don't need to install that. I might, I might pill around with that maybe on one of my older virtual machines or maybe even an older PC that I have lying around. You know, just see for the heck of it if it still works. But apparently I read that on there back in November 4th, 2004. Love old dates there. So yeah, this about wraps up the video and just double check I can do a scan disk. While it, while it's in use. Oh, it's because I got these pictures open. I wonder. Okay, now I can do it. 
Windows successfully scanned the drive. No errors were found, so that's good. About 120 megabytes. That's that's really small for today's standards. But however, back but however, back in 2003, that was actually a, a pretty good amount of space for a remove a removable drive. See, actually, back see, actually, back then in 2003. See, back back then in 2003, you know. You know, there there were very few. There were very few flash based drives back then. If, if they had any flash drives, they might have been maybe a small uh, quarter or half a gigabyte, if that. They, they weren't nearly as relevant as they are today, because cause back then, most people were still using, you know, CDRWs and DVDRWs. Which back in 2002-2003 that would, that would have been a much more viable option for removable stores and flash drives. However, however today, today that's not the case anymore. Today you can, you can run out to the dollar store and get a a 16 gigabyte flash drive for only like maybe 10 bucks, something like that. That'd be, that'd be about the cost of one DVD RW, plus you don't need any kind of special drive or anything. So yep, yeah, this about wraps up my video here. I guess just to be safe, you probably want to eject it. Safe to remove hardware. So it already turned it off. It's kind of like shutting down your PC. See it? That's the flash drive. This will continue to be around for or longer. Well, good night, y'all.